Hi guys, I'm LaShonda and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you guys will never miss an upload and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to make sure you definitely never miss an upload from me. If you guys are not new to my channel, thank you so much for coming back LaShonda Glam Squad to join me for another video today. Today I have done a Mardi Gras makeup look for you guys. Now I don't know about a lot of people who are not in the South, but here in the South like Mississippi, Louisiana, Mardi Gras is really really big here I didn't get to hit any parades it did kind of rain me out plus my son was sick so I decided just to stay in and create this Mardi Gras makeup look for you guys so if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this beautiful glam makeup look then you already know what to do just stick around and just continue to watch so I've already done my brows off film now I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with my Urban Decay Eden Primer and I'm just going to place this all over my eyelids and then I'm just going to go in and set it with a little bit of my setting powder. And I wasn't sure what look I was going for. I just wanted to get in here and create some Mardi Gras magic. So I'm going to put down a little bit of tape to make sure everything is sharp and I will have less cleanup. Now I'm going to go into my Morphe 35 Brights palette. And I'm going to use this pinky purple shade here to put right in my crease. And I'm going to use my Morphe M511 Fluff Brush. And I'm just going to place this back and forth windshield wiper motions just kind of build it until I get the intensity that I'm looking for and to buff out my edges I'll be using my Morphe E23 brush now going into my Zulu palette from Juvia's Place I'm going to be taking my Morphe M519 brush and I'm just going to be using this little purple shade here and I'm just going to place that right underneath that pink shade and I'm just going to build 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 I mean like I'm really packing this on because I want this to be really bold and really intense so you'll see me just going back and forth until I get it as bold as I like. And now I'm going to carve out my crease using my Urban Decay Primer Potion and Eden again. And I'm just going to use this little flat eyeshadow brush. It has no name, but I'm going to just carve out my crease and I'm going to place this all over my eyelids. And then I'm just going to kind of buff it in with a little fluff brush and make sure I carve out those little edges on the end. So everything looks like there's no harsh lines. It's a nice transition from one color to the next. And going back into that purple shade from my Zulu palette, I'm just going to place this on my outer edges and I'm just going to lightly buff this in. And notice I'm doing like tapping motions. It really makes everything look nice and blended. Now I'm going to be going into my My Old Makeup Pigment, this little green shade here. And I'm just going to take a regular little eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to pack this about three quarters of the way on my inner eyelids. And then I'll go in with the next purple shade and do the exact same thing to make sure all the colors transition nicely into the next. Now going back into that dark purple shade again, I'm just going to add this back to that out of V area, just kind of intensify the darkness that we kind of lost a bit. So I'm just going to pack this on right in the out of V area just to make it a little bit purple smoky in the corner here. And to add a little wing action, I'm going to go in with my NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner and I'm just going to draw in my wing. And now to add my gold, because Mardi Gras is not Mardi Gras without a little gold, I'm going to go in with this NYX gold liner and I'm also going to take some little like Hobby Lobby glitter. It's just literally like art craft store glitter and I'm just going to like dip the brush into that gold glitter just to kind of intensify that gold and make that gold stand out a tad bit more. I'm just going to be dipping it back and forth into that and I'm just going to put a little glitter here right above my crease and also right above my wing liner.
Okay, so I did go in and add me some lashes off film. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into my foundation. This foundation is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. <laughs> Fingers crossed that this works. I've tried like three shades in this foundation. I swear to you. I think this one may be the one. This is the shade 380. It is a tad bit lighter than what I would like for it to be. But I can make this work. This is way better than the other ones I've tried. Because everything else I've tried in the Fenty Beauty Foundation look makes me look very orangey so this one was pretty good so i think i'm gonna stick with this shade i love the finish of it i love how it wears and i love that it's matte so hopefully it works for me and i can go ahead and finally order one in my shade Okay, not bad Fenty Beauty. I can live with this. Now I'm going to go into my Tarte Shape Tape and my Maybelline Better Than Skin uh, Concealer. And I'm just going to place both of these under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, forehead, chin. You know the drill. And I'll be highlighting with these two concealer concoctions today. And to set my highlight in place, I'm going to be using Beauty Bakery's Flower Setting Powder. This stuff has slowly become vague. Like, I was so in love with the Sasha Buttercup Light. But ever since I started using this, I don't know. It's giving Sasha a run for her munties, hunties. And to contour, I'm not going to cream contour today. I'm just going to use my powders. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek Half Hearted Contour. I'm also going to be using my Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced Bronzer. And I'm just going to kind of put that over my contour just to kind of make everything look blended. And give me that bronze look along with the contour look. So I'm just going to go ahead and contour my cheeks, nose, chin, forehead, and all that good stuff. And to smooth everything out, I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. And I'm just going to be adding a pinch of blush and this is my NARS Dose Vita Blush. Now to soak up some of those powders and make our face look like skin, I'm going to be drenching down my face with my Mario Cucumber Water. And for highlighter of choice today, I'm going to be using my Laura Gilded Gilded Honey Highlighter. And I'm going to be using my Morphe E33 Fan Brush to place this on with. I'm also going to take my Beauty Blender just to kind of pat that in, make it look like I'm glowing from within. It helps it kind of sink into the skin a bit. I'm also going to be placing a little bit of that highlight right below my brow bone. And then I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. Taking the color Spectra. It's this little pretty purple shade. And I'm going to place that right in my inner tear duct just to give it a little bit of added purple highlight. And to smoke out my bottom waterline, I'm going to go back into this purple shade from that Zulu palette and place this on the outer half of my eye. And then I'm going to go back into that green color that we had and place that on the inner uh, corner of my eye. And I also use a little bit of that pink that we used at first just to kind of put underneath both of those, which I probably didn't show, just to kind of make the film not be so long. And then I'm going to go in with my Fake Awake pencil. I want to say this is by Too Faced. I'm just going to add a little bit up to my waterline and I also use my mascara as well and for my lip cocktail today i'm going to be using my ColourPop wet liner i'm also going to go in with my color rain sore liquid lipstick and right in the center i'm going to put my color rain sugar lipstick
And to set everything in place, I'm going to be using my Morphe Continuing Spray Mist. And that's pretty much going to do it for the look. You guys pretty much enjoyed this look from all of my other social media accounts like my Facebook, Makeup Grooves, Instagram, and Snapchat. Please follow me on all of my social media accounts at Beauty by LaShonda. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will catch all of you dolls in my next video. Bye, dolls.